Psalms chapter 45. My heart is moved by a noble theme as I recite my verses to the king. My tongue is the pen of a skillful writer. You are the most handsome of men. Grace flows from your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. Mighty warrior, strap your sword at your side. In your majesty and splendor. In your splendor, ride triumphantly. In the cause of truth, humility, and justice. May your right hand show your awe-inspiring acts. Your sharpened arrows pierce the hearts of the king's enemies. The peoples fall under you. Your throne, God, is forever and ever. The scepter of your kingdom is a scepter of justice. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of joy, more than your companions. Myrrh, aloes, and cassia perfume all your garments. From ivory palaces, harps bring you joy. King's daughters are among your honored women. The queen, adorned with gold from Ophir, stands at your right hand. Listen, daughter, pay attention and consider. Forget your people and your father's house, and the king will desire your beauty. Bow down to him, for he is your lord. The daughter of Tyre, the wealthy people, will seek your favor with gifts. In her chamber, the royal daughter is all glorious, her clothing embroidered with gold. In colorful garments, she is led to the king. After her, the virgins, her companions, are brought to you. They are led in with gladness and rejoicing. They enter the king's palace. Your sons will succeed your ancestors. You will make them princes throughout the land. I will cause your name to be remembered for all generations. Therefore, the peoples will praise you forever and ever.